Brett Allen here. Thanks for watching and listening. Uh, we have another fantastic interview from this new Apple TV Plus show uh, coming here very soon, Causeway. Uh, we are chatting with another one of its stars, Neil Huff. Uh, I'm excited for this conversation. Uh, Neil, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. Well, this film uh, covers a lot of different topics, a lot of different subject matter, but it's a very important one uh, when people have a chance to watch. Um, what was it that attracted you to the project and made you decide uh, that you wanted to commit your time to it uh, as an actor and as a storyteller? I mean, honestly, it was the the lineup of people involved the whole team uh i didn't read the script before i said yes to it you know lila directing the cast and uh just yeah the whole team i was just like of course of course i'll do it and you know and then read the script right after that and it's just gorgeous so yeah that was really it not even a second of deliberation yeah <laughs> So when you are looking at a project like this or others, say Mayor of East Town, that you did another phenomenal job in, is there something that you're looking for as an actor or as a storyteller uh, that is important to you that is, I would say, almost like a non-negotiable uh, for you that makes you go, okay, I want to commit my time to this as an actor and as a storyteller? Brett Allen here chatting with actor Neil Huff about this new project, Causeway, uh, which is premiering quite soon here on Apple TV+. Plus. We are just having a set of wonderful interviews from this film, uh, and I am just blown away by this thing. Uh, Neil, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Yes. Well, I'm very excited to talk to you. Uh, the first question I would have about this is what attracted you to the project and made you decide that you wanted to commit it to it as an actor and as a storyteller? Well, honestly, Brett, I, I committed to it uh, before I even read it. Uh, I, I was, you know, the whole team involved. I was just like, yes, yeah, sign me up. Sure, I'll do it. Whatever uh, the, the script says. <laughs> and I trust there was just such high level talent, you know, and, and great people. So uh very happy to jump on board and then read it immediately like that night and was blown away by the script. So, uh, yeah, not surprised that, uh, you know, uh, Lila and this cast was involved with, with such a, such a story. And, and then beyond that, um, uh, we recently moved, but my next door neighbor, um, you know, about a year or so ago for five years is a, is a vet who, um, really just uh amazing amazing guy uh lieutenant colonel mike corey from the uh, marine corps and has just been through so so much um very very open about life you know he's got a, a great life and just very very open about uh what it what it is you know to have fought in several tours and stuff so i was really uh thrilled about you know um about the story the subject matter yeah, it's a beautiful film. I had the opportunity to watch it twice uh, before. And by the time this interview goes out, people will have already hopefully seen it. It's not dropping out until next month. But the film covers a lot of topics and important messages for our culture, of course, veterans and how they can be treated or perhaps maybe mistreated when they come back um, from their service. Uh, but when audiences do have an opportunity, Neil, to watch, um, is there one particular thing, and I've been asking other cast members this, uh, that you you grabbed onto as being part of the project, or maybe that you hope the audience does as well when they do have a chance to watch this? Well, I think maybe um, our, our kind of, we get into our kind of paths in life and uh, sometimes the the kind of momentum of the path we're on, or lack of momentum, um, prevents us from being open to uh, something that could completely change us at any point of our timeline here on Earth. And uh, 
uh, we don't know um, how things are going to play out looking ahead. And if you're forced into a situation like the main character in this story to, to have to kind of retool and pull yourself up, you know, step by step, um, you know, you, you learn something pretty universal, I think, is that, you know, we all need to possibly, you know, uh, be surprised by extended um, networks of people around us that we might not even know are there, you know? Yeah, I think that's one of the things I find so beautiful about this film is that it really handles this in a very kind and gracious way, uh, but yeah. an honest way as well, from when the film starts to sort of learning about Jennifer's character and I find myself going, well, what exactly happened? You know what I mean? Because they don't just yeah. come right out with it um, <laughs> in the start, which I really appreciated. Totally. Um, you know, and I feel that that's what makes this picture uh, so good. Um, again, you know, as an actor, you've been a part of some fantastic films. Uh, Mayor of East Town is one that comes to mind, which that I mean, don't even we could have a whole other conversation <laughs> about that. Oh yeah. my god. Uh we yeah. had lots of cast on for that, but I digress. Um, mm -hmm. is there one thing for you as a storyteller that you uh find that you have to have as a non-negotiable to decide uh, that you're gonna commit your time? Obviously, you didn't read the script for this initially, but maybe on other projects you look at the script and go, Oh, I think this character is believable or likable or whatever, something in that sort of universe well, as an actor. Yeah, Brent, to your point about Mare of Easton, uh, like th there is there is a similarity, oddly, to this story in that yeah. there's something about people starting second acts in their lives, people riven by tragedy and um, finding, you know, second or third acts in their lives. There's, there's a similar kind of thing going on. Um, and I find that especially moving. Um, but in terms of something that for me, no, I mean, it's really, you know, in your gut. And if you're thinking with, you know, if it's your, if you're making a decision with your head and you have to use your head, obviously, but you know, in your gut when, when, when it feels right for you. And so I just, you have to go off your gut and not, not your head initially, I think. Um, but if you get a chance to do something that is like connected to something bigger, hopefully it all is. Yeah. If you get a, a chance to kind of plug in to some kind of, bigger aspect of the narrative it just changes the work i think in a way um yeah 100 percent. well you know in doing this having conversations with kind of thing you know some that yeah. find that looks into some meta story yeah and i think that's one of the things about this is i was going to say that i find so beautiful is that really you know i want to watch it again because i feel like every time i do watch it i get something different from it um yeah. And Apple TV has really hit their stride uh, with these stories, um, you know, because you kind of find yourself going, wow, this is so fantastic. Um, yeah. One last question. Again, you know, I want people to watch this when it comes out and when they have the opportunity. If you don't have a subscription to Apple TV Plus, uh, you're missing out because there's just so much great programming on there uh, in general. But looking at your career and some of these hallmark projects is there one in particular that stands out to you as an actor that you can go okay this was a massive jumping off point for me uh and and you sort of knew i'm going to be solidified in this business uh for the rest of my life like this uh, is what i meant to do no, no well solidified in the business and like something that you feel you're meant to do or so maybe not solidified because it is so unpredictable but just like like you know you're meant to do this that that's a true point yeah because yeah, you never I mean, really know yeah you cannot um you got to stay vigilant like jack nicholson was this avatar in my my, my family's life my father's life and uh i got to play the lead in one of the cuckoo's nest at the end of high school and all of a sudden i was like oh oh there's something that I, I can throw. I can't put enough into it. Like, I, I feel like that's, that's when, you know, like you get bored with other stuff, you do stuff, you do seasons of sports subjects in school, but this, I just couldn't put enough into it. Um, so that's when, I mean, initially for better, or for worse, I thought, Oh, this is what, this is what I am. Um, but 
there's different jobs along the way that make you feel like I did the film Spotlight and, you know, similarly, uh, you know, connected to something much, much bigger. And that is a huge, huge, uh, you know, um, uh, it's a huge uh, responsibility and gift to be able to do. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm in center right now on Netflix and it's one of my favorite things ever. You know, it's just, yeah. it's it. so, I mean, really it's, it's, they're all, you know, stones in the river. I love that. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I, I think that's very wonderfully put. Well, Causeway again, coming to Apple TV very soon, please watch it. And we will have, uh, hopefully multiple <laughs> uh, cast interviews as your publicist is listening. I joke, but we've had <laughs> two great ones so far. And uh, I'm very excited for people to watch this. Neil, again, just have been a fan. And when the opportunity came to chat with you about this beautiful film, I was very excited. Uh, again, love your work. And I know all thank your you. fans and people watching and listening to as well. Neil, thank you so much for hanging out today. I appreciate it.